After one year, the Sony a7 II is the best camera I've ever used and still recommend it in 2021. Hey everyone, Kwame here, and as you saw by the introduction and the title, I've owned the Sony a7 II for exactly one year now, and I absolutely love this camera, and I still recommend it for 2021. Now, it's not a new camera, it's going on six years old now, but it's still a really, really good camera camera the first reason why i like this camera is image quality you know that's the most important thing to me and this camera still delivers amazing images and amazing quality uh, uh, images you know even paired with the 28 to 200 which isn't the greatest lens in the world i still get really good pictures and this is the setup that i use on most of my photography outings you know whether we're going to the mountains or just going for a hike you know at one of our local uh, parks here I, I bring this combination with me and it, I get really good pictures now for me and I think for a lot of photographers image quality is you know the most important thing when we're taking pictures and I can you know easily say the a7 II still knocks it out of the park for for me on that one now, I'll talk about lenses here at the end of this video but for right now I'm just talking about the a7 II itself and qual image quality spot on uh, number two is the this thing is very very well built i mean it's weather resistant you know water dust slight rain or snow whatever you you're in you know it's it's gonna you know hold up it's you know i don't baby my my camera gear i don't abuse it either but you know it's it's got a couple little it doesn't even have any nicks the only thing i found and i just saw this today was this eyepiece here and i just noticed this today is coming off um and that's the only thing I've noticed with this camera. And I've, I haven't dropped it or anything like that, but I do keep it in my car. Like if we're out, you know, we're out and about and I'm taking pictures, I will leave this in the lap, you know, in, in my lap while we're driving, or I'll leave it in the passenger seat if there's no one over there. Um, and that's the only thing I've seen, you know, loose on it. Other than that, you know, the buttons are still, uh, feel fine the dials are all metal the construction you know the metal frame so it's really solid and even with all that it's still a pretty compact camera especially if you take off the battery grip now i have this battery grip on there because i like shooting vertical pictures and so it's just more uh, comfortable for me to have a, a vertical grip but you don't need that you know if you didn't have that it's a very small full frame camera and i i, I really appreciate that Hey everyone, I just wanted to jump in and let you know that I have a new ebook out, my fir very first ebook, a free ebook. It's called A Travel Through Senegal. I select images from our 2018 trip to Senegal. Uh, Senegal is a very, very special place to me. It's where my wife is from, it's where I met her for the first time when we were kids, but also um, it's one of the first overseas trips that I took in my life. And so I've always had this fond. Um, affinity to Senegal and to, to the Senegalese people, the culture, everything. So these are just uh, some pictures from that last trip in 2018. All you have to do is head on over to the link that's down in the, in the description, fill in your first, last name, email address, and click get my ebook, and it is there, and you will get it right away. Another reason why I still recommend the, the A7 II in 2021 is the value, the, the price value, right? You're getting a full frame camera, and if you play your cards right, you can find them used under $700. Now, I got mine for about uh, under $1,000 with the camera and lens combination. Right now on Amazon, they're $1,500 with the for the same camera and 28 to 70 lens that I picked up. I don't think that's a really good value. Um, that I would not suggest anyone pay that much for the a7 II. If you compare that to the a7 III with the same lens, it's uh, $1,800. So there still is a you know $300 difference there, but I would say for the three, if you're gonna buy it brand new, if you're looking to buy a brand new camera, get the a7 III. It is a, a bit more, but it's it's worth that, you know, brand new. If you can find it under $1,000, you know, every now and again, it goes on sale for under $1,000 on Amazon. Uh, definitely pick it up it's a really good choice for under a thousand dollars but um, currently on Amazon I would not say to pick this up one question I've gotten from people is how come I didn't pick up the a7 III since it does 4k video it has automatic face detect so I don't have to press a button and at the time 
I, I, I responded to the person by saying, you know, as much as I like the a7 III, it's, if something happened to this camera and I had to replace it like on the fly, I can find a, a used copy for under $700. I could, you know, find, and then, you know, replace the lens, but I could find a used copy of this camera relatively cheap and I could easily rebuy the camera if I needed to. The a7 III, you know, is stretching the budget and I could, you know, if I had to, I could afford to buy another one, but I, you know, I, I don't, I would like not to. And also this works, like it, the a7 II works for me. And, you know, I, I've looked at this as an investment, you know, this is going to last for at least another four years at the very least, but more than likely much longer, you know, as long as the camera starts up and my files can be read, I'll be using this camera for a while. Now let's talk about lenses. I've only bought two lenses for this camera and that was the 28 to 200 from Tamron and the Samyang 24 millimeter lens. I did have the Samyang 35 millimeter lens uh, for a brief moment, but Samyang is uh, interesting, right? You can get really good lenses or you can get lenses that don't, um, the autofocus doesn't work. Now you can, if you buy a separate adapter, you can update the firmware on these lenses. Uh, but I didn't know at the time, so I just returned the lens and, and kept the 24 millimeter lens that I picked up. And it's been great. Like, it's actually a pretty good lens at f2.8. I wish I would have kept the 35 or just replaced the 35 because I think that's more my focal range. You know, if I'm just doing in-the-house type photography or uh, we're going, like, to in, in downtown Denver or something like that, it's nice to have a fixed focused um, fast lens and I, I think 35 millimeters just works personally for for myself in another video I'm going to be talking about like developing your style and that's only done by taking pictures but I think you know that lens would have been good uh, to keep however I will say there are two other lenses that I want to pick up uh, hopefully this year maybe we'll see but the one I've talked about a lot is the Sigma 100 to 400 I really like that reach I really you know for the way that I take pictures, um, and when we're out and about, you know, a lot of landscape, a lot of wildlife photography, I, that's, that's the lens that I really want. And then the other lens, which I've been surprised that I am really curious and really want is the, uh, Tamron 17 to 28 F2 lens. And that's a constant F2 zoom lens. And you know, what I was thinking about it, I've never really had a wide angle lens. Even on my Micro Four Thirds cameras, the widest lens I've had is 24 millimeters. And so, you know, you know, living here in Colorado and when we do travel, it would be nice to have a nice wide angle lens that's pretty small so I can throw on the camera. And like if we're walking around for a, a day trip or something, I can throw it on there and take pictures of you know, the family and that kind of stuff, but also have a nice wide angle lens to do landscape photography with. And then on a side note, I can use it on the A6100 here for video work. So it would work well with both cameras. So after one year, I still love this camera, the A7 II. I think it's a great entry level full frame camera. Obviously, I can only talk about Sony cameras. I haven't used a Nikon gear or Canon gear, so I can't give you any recommendations on that. But you know, for me, and I, at this point with photography, I consider myself a, a hobbyist just with the way that um, things has, have gone, you know, from last year and even this year, you know, from a photography work perspective, it's kind of out the window and I'm doing more design work and graphic design work. So I've kind of tr starting to transition more into that role. And so when I think of it from that perspective, I'm not going to invest, you know, thousands and thousands of dollars into a camera body that yeah i can shoot 64 megapixels or 48 megapixels stuff like that when 24 megapixels works for what i needed to do and with those lenses you know i'd rather invest in the lenses because i will hopefully keep those much longer than i would keep the camera body and when i think of it that way the a7 II for right now is perfect for me and i again recommend it for people who are thinking about getting into full frame photography and who and who like sony now this setup here the a7 II with the 20 to 200 i am doing a new video on local travel photography and this combination has been absolutely killer for me i 
love just having one body, one lens, and the versatility of this lens has been so good. I, I, I can't recommend this lens enough. If you are a Sony shooter and you are looking to get like a good all around lens, 20 to 200 is amazing. I don't know if they have it for other camera manufacturers. I wish they, they uh, I hope they do, but it's a really great lens and paired with this camera body, it's my perfect, uh, perfect travel combination. Thanks as always for watching this video. If you guys have made it this far, please hit the like and subscribe button. It really does help me out quite a bit. I probably won't be doing as many videos going forward on the a7 II since there's only so much I can say about it, but I will have more uh, videos, you know, talking about local travel photography, uh, getting the most out of certain lenses and a whole bunch of other things. As always, it's been great seeing you guys. Thank you as always for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Talk to you later. Bye bye.